This little flashlight right here is the Phoenix PD25R with 800 lumens. This right here is the Nightcore NU10000 with fast charge. This cable is the Rolling Square in charge XL 6-in-1 charging cable with 100 watt capability. All of those could be replaced by this. I really have tried to stay away from doing flashlight reviews because as soon as you do one, it seems like everybody and their mama wants to reach out to you to say, can you review this flashlight? I think there's more flashlights in the world than any other everyday carry item for real. But this woman X3 has impressed me. They call it the owl and it's pretty great for everyday carry. So I wanna run through nine things that I like about this flashlight. And I'm gonna do three things that I don't like about this flashlight, all right? Because, hey, it's not gonna be perfect. You already know that. Number one is the charging box, right? For the flashlight that's inside. This charging box will allow the flashlight inside to be charged up to 100 days, which is excellent, right? The charging box itself has a capacity of 3,000 milliamp hours, right? It also acts as a battery bank, which can charge my phone close to one time. So really just emergencies. The lanyard, they're like, yeah, you're going to the lanyard, George? Yes, the lanyard has functionality on this little setup right here. It's not too big at all. So this is a USB-C to USB-C cable. Pretty inventive, Wubin. I like this a lot and it works, right? And it also has a ruler on it. It's pretty creative the way you put it back in the, into the, like this little housing as well. Kind of goes in and it's secure. It's definitely locked up pretty damn tight. Now, this light is, yes, it's a flashlight inside. Yes, we have a flashlight inside and it comes out, but the case itself, turns into a lamp where if you want to take it camping you could take it camping and use this as a camping light and it does a really good job actually so that's pretty tight now the light itself right we're, we're talking about everything but the light get to the light george all right let's take the light out and talk about the light itself the reason why they call it an owl i think we're on number four all right the reason why they call it an owl is because this head can turn 180 degrees. Now this opens up a lot of possibilities because you got this clip on the back, which is very stiff and tough, right? So you could clip it to an outside of a backpack and have a right angle flashlight like this, right? Clip it onto a backpack, or you could clip it onto a hat on the lid or on the brim and flash your light that way. Excellent. So lots of versatility if you haven't been able to tell already. All right. One thing about this light, it has a screen on it. That's an excellent thing. I don't know how many, like this, the, the Phoenix, good luck. All right. Knowing what mode you're in, you, you kind of get it down after a while, but it did take a while. So you touch it once comes on on your last mode, right? Let me pull it up to the screen so you can kind of see it a little bit better. It's telling you right now it's in the one lumen mode. You hold it and it jumps up, right? Jumps through all the regular modes. There's actually six modes in white. So you get turbo, high, medium, low, and stroke, and SOS. That's a whole lot of modes. Then when I first turned it on, you already recognize that it also comes in a red light mode. You get two of those, right? A high and a low. Excellent. Love it. I mean, I could do some flashlight testing outside for you guys, but at this point, the thing works, all right? It's great. It gives a, it gives a nice throw. And uh, that's the turbo mode, 700 lumens, double tap, turbo. Excellent. Tap it once and it turns off. All right, the flashlight itself is IP65 waterproof rated. So that means not too long underwater will this flashlight last. If you notice, 
This flashlight on the body will glow in the dark, which is excellent. You also might be noticing that little thing in the middle lets you know that you can wirelessly charge this flashlight as well, which is awesome, right? On the back, these are the little charging tips, right? They're magnetic. You know, you're working on your car, you stick it on the hood, you can swivel the head around till you get your angle for their light, whatever part you're working on. Awesome. That's also how it connects in the inside of the box or the charging box itself, right? Magnetic base. Those are my nine things that I like about this flashlight. It is pretty damn cool, right? <laughs> very, very cool. Now let's get to the dislikes about this flashlight. Same thing. I got three of them though. On the side right here, I don't know if the light is gonna allow you to pick it up, but there's already scratches on this thing. I haven't had it very long. So the charging box itself, I wish it was another material because this just doesn't feel like really, really good quality. Even though the flashlight does everything you could probably ask a flashlight to do. The next thing you probably could hear it when I just did this thing is this thing rattles inside. It doesn't feel like there's a tight fit for this flashlight inside of the case itself. I get tired of, you know, kind of moving around and it sounds like a box of like, you know, M&Ms or something in there. The light itself, yes, on the charging, on the charging box, there is an LED indicator, which will tell you what the charge is inside of the box. It's also USB-C rechargeable. You can use your cables here and, you know, charge up the box. However, right, when you have the, the light itself, say you take the light out, now you're reduced to charging it wirelessly. And I, that's not the best way to charge it. I wish this had a, a separate USB-C charging capability on this flashlight. Other than that, those are the three things that I've noticed thus far about this flashlight that I don't like. Now, the price on this is like 90 bucks. It's kind of expensive. And I know that Olight has a similar light to this one, but I don't think it does as much as this flashlight does. Now, keep this in mind. The Phoenix is probably one of the better EDC flashlights out there. It throws 100 more lumens and it's more compact and the IPX rating is a little higher and it has a USB-C charging outlet on the outside. The Rolling Square uh, 6 and one probably one of the better cables out there for everyday carry, probably one of the best. The NU-10000 by Nightcore, smallest and lightest battery bank on the market for 10,000. These are at the top of its game. Right. So it was kind of ambitious to say that the Wuben X3 can replace all of these. I think that it does a decent job of doing all those tasks. It does a decent job. It's just really a matter of do you want to invest in something that can do pretty much all of those tasks good or you want to have individual items that do it excellent. But I think that this is a good flashlight and a good option for anyone that's wanna, you know, something that's a little different, a little gadget. It's pretty damn tight. Ruben, thanks for sending this thing out. That's all I got. Got questions, leave them. And I'll check y'all in the next one.